special presentation produced by VPN Foundation, Central Florida, benefiting art education for children. Thank you for tuning in to On Time Cooking. My name is Van Reed, and today you will have the enjoyment of our musician John Dash Dixon. How are you, John? How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you very much. And next to John Dash Dixon, we have our co-host Bernadette Brown. How are you? I'm um, great. It's always good to be here, Van. Thanks. Absolutely. And our special guest tonight is Elena Eskin. How are you, Elena? I'm doing great, how are you? <laughs> really good, thank you so much for having us. Uh, Florida Fish Sherman. Good, Fish Girl. <laughs> Floridian girl. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Paula, who's our chef tonight? We're excited to know. Alright, let me introduce Chevy, Chef Kevin Howe. How are you, Chef? Good evening, Juan, how are you? I'm very... Well, thank you so much for asking me. So, what is all this? What are we cooking? For? Uh, we're gonna do a uh, steam lane snapper this evening for you. Very uh, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to do it for you. Bring you some good food to the table, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully everybody can follow along and maybe try it at home too. Yeah, absolutely. It will be a nice fish to eat tonight, huh? That will be wonderful. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not gonna take any more of your time. Please continue. Oh, will do. Thank you. Welcome, Chef Kevin. We're glad to have you. Thank you. Yay. Good to, oh, look at that already. Wow. And welcome, Elena. We're going to bring, oh, we're gonna bring the, the main you. course right to the table first. <laughs> These are wow. lane snapper. These were caught local here in the Gulf. Okay, beautiful fish. I've taken them and dressed them already. When you steam the fish, you're definitely going to want to make sure that you remove the gills and any back fins. Any of the harmful bones that you don't really want to come in contact with if you are going to run into a bone while you're eating the fish. Um, we're going to take it, we're going to dress them, we're going to get in the steamer as quickly as possible. It's going to take about 15-20 minutes to cook this size fish. Wow. These are probably a uh, pound and a half to two pounds a piece. So I'm going to just start with some uh, cilantro and uh, just fresh cilantro. I'm going to you know, oh let's let's go ahead and wow. stuff it up inside there, okay? That's Why don't we just take cool. care of both of them that way? Now, mm. the scallions. Oh this God. is the this is the the end of the scallions. It's a little bitter, but it also has still some of the onion flavor. Mm. I'm just gonna kind of crunch it up in there. And I'm gonna stick that inside there too. Mm. And I'm sorry, Chef Kevin. Where were those caught? Where's the fish from? These are right here, uh, right here off the Gulf, wow. off the Gulf Coast. Nice yeah, this local is this, fish. Yeah, this is uh, a local monger provided us with this for this evening, and uh, makes nice. a nice fresh, fresh product for us to try. And, nice. You know, it, it's it's uh, the cooking process. We're gonna get all the all the goodness <laughs> from this fish. I've got some uh, cut real thin long garlic, and I'm gonna mm. do the same thing. I'm gonna just stuff it up inside the fish. I've never seen it done this little way. Bit, um, right? Um, just a nice little already. bit. Ginger, and all I've done with the ginger is I've just chunked it, okay? Right. Nothing uh, too fine, anything, right? That's gonna be the inside where the where the fish is. We're not really gonna eat any of that anyway. So now that we've done that, we're gonna season the fish a little bit. And I have some Shanghai seasoning. It's basically like a Chinese five spice uh, rubbed in some uh, sea salt. So we're just gonna season it. 
Uh, and what I'll do is I'll, <laughs> I'll flip the fish oh, over yeah. as well and do both sides. Now I got a little bit of brown sugar. Oh, now that's unique. A little bit of brown me. sugar. A little bit of regular coarse salt. Coarse salt. And we're going to build a little bit of drizzle to go on top of this when it goes in the steamer too. So these same ingredients we're going to take and put them over there. This is some red pepper, black pepper, green peppercorn. And finally a little bit of black pepper on top of that. Okay. And, and Chef Kevin, where did you get this recipe from? While you're doing that, I'll just... This is a conglomeration of things that I've seen done in the past. Okay. Uh, my interpretation with some other things intermixing some of the ingredients. Yeah. Uh, it it kind of flows real nice. Yeah, sounds I'm, great. Uh, I'm going to steam these in a steamer. Wow. And you can do this right on your stove top. You can do it in a wok uh, with a, a metal rack in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take some of the bok choy, which is next. We're going to set the fish on the side for a second. Mm. Elena, have you ever cooked never, anything like this? Mm. This is the accompaniment no? that we're going to add to the steamer to go with the fish. fish. But what I want to do is I want to catch some of the juices in that steamer up and around the fish. So I'm going to take some of the bok choy leaves and I'm going to lay them down in the steamer to kind of help that? keep that fish together so when I get it out of there, it'll hold together a little better too. So this is going to add some additional flavor into the whole into the whole process. This looks this looks like a very healthy um, food that you're cooking right now tonight. Yes. It, it actually is. Steaming is one of the most nutritious uh, ways to eat the food. Uh, it locks in all the all the stuff that we need mm -hmm. um, to help us, you know, stay strong and grow. Yes. Stay healthy. Okay. I've got the steamer pan with the bok choy in there. So I'm going to reintroduce the fish and I'm going to lay them right in the steamer at this point. We're looking at about 20 minutes here. So Chef Kevin, tell us just a little bit about yourself as you're doing the next step if you could. Uh, I've been a chef for quite some time now. Um, I like to experience different kinds of foods. Uh, I always chase what I don't know. Um, nice. You know, you can never stop learning, uh, anybody. Um, it's just one of the things, I have a passion for food, and uh, I put stuff together, I just throw it together, and somehow it works. It's um, wonderful. You know, and a little bit of knowledge uh, along the way doesn't hurt either. Sounds like a passion too. It is. Yeah. yeah. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim most of, the, most of the greens off, and I'm just gonna discard those at this point, because I've got enough of it down in that steamer pan to trap that fish in there. What I want to do here is I want to keep a rough chop, maybe an inch and an inch and a half. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take that and add that right in with the fish. That's going right in there. That's going to be the veggie. Mm. It's part of the whole goodness wow, right there, that right? Wow, good. Doesn't okay. Matter. Yeah. We're going to do the same good, thing right? here. Mm. It's also Chinese. Yes. Yeah? Yes. And then, Chef Kevin, we're at 22, a little over 22 minutes into it, so you're doing good already. Good. That smells wonderful. Okay, we're going to cover that up and we're going to let that fish cook. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of all this stuff here, the brown sugar, Ooh. the black pepper. Why do you add sugar? Brown sugar. Yeah. Sweetener. Oh, there you go. You want a little bit of sweetness in there. I'm putting enough other stuff in there, the fish sauce, the sesame oil, rice vinegar. It kind of offsets that other stuff. Okay. A little okay. bit of Szechuan seasoning, salt. Now here we go. Here's a new ingredient. Oh, let's make sure we got it open it first. <laughs> All right, we're just going to take the top off because we need I've to seen that, that before. I think I've used it too. So. Okay, we're just going to give it, you know, three, four tablespoons. <laughs> Fish oil, our fish sauce, very, very potent. Just a couple drops. Fish sauce? Okay. Fish, fish sauce. sauce. Oh. Rice vinegar? I know this one. Okay, and then a little drizzle of sesame oil. Mm. I want to point out to our viewers right now, noticing that he's using no measuring utensils. Sorry, whatsoever. guys. No, don't say sorry because I come from Italian cooks, and that's what we do. So, I love it. Okay, we got a nice blend now. We're going to pour that over the fish while it's Great. cooking. So, doesn't that smell good? It smells delicious. Elena, tell tell us a little bit about what you do. What your what do you love to do? Do you have hobbies? Do you well, have... I like to fish. 
Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> did you catch this? I did not, <laughs> but I was about to ask our chef uh, because he told me, he mentioned before that he's from Key West. So oh. do you also fish? Oh, wow. Lots of fish. Lots. <laughs> wow. I mean, do you actually fish the fish? Oh, yes. yes? Oh, yeah. yeah. I had quite a time when I was down there. Uh, quite a few friends that had boats and stuff, so I had the opportunity to catch grouper and tarpon yeah. and, uh, you know, dolphin and mm, all that yeah, indigenous nice. stuff, uh, diving for some lobster sometimes. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had a friend of mine actually that had a lobster business. You know, you'd go out on a boat every day right. and sometimes I would spend oh, wow. time with him all day. And my reward would usually be, a, you know, a nice lobster tail nice. or a couple of stone claws oh, or nice uh, reward. stuff like that. <laughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, you don't realize you do a job like that for a couple of days. And you actually experience a lot more than you would if you just go out on a boat because I was pulling stuff in these traps that were octopus, putting them all over me. It was great. Oh my god! Great. Exciting. Do you right? also, also uh, nice. catch crab, crab crabs, traps. all yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. See, so yes. things that you must. I love. I mean, it. I'm just, great. I'm sure learning. Is. I'm still learning, I'm so sure. I'm not uh, the best in fishing, but but you're interested. Oh, I'm interested, fun. and yeah. I yeah. would like fun. to learn. So my next step is to do um, spear fishing. Oh. Do it. Have somebody take you out that knows what they're doing, use the nice. right bait, and you'll have fun doing it. Yeah. Right? There's nice. nothing like catching that first fish and you're that's like, it. yeah, I want to do it again, do it again. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're in Florida, so hey, and anyone that's viewing us that's not in Florida, come on down. Yeah. Come on down. <laughs> come on down, let's go fishing. We'll go out. VPN Foundation fishing. <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> and crab trap. Exactly. <laughs> Everything, we do it all. We'll do it all. <laughs> we'll cook it for you. So we're at, um, a little over 18 minutes right now, so we're almost at the 15 minute mark. Okay. So you're doing super. Okay. Love it. Shiitake mushrooms would be the next ingredient we want to add in there. The bok choy's had a little time to break down. Uh, the mushrooms are a little more delicate. Um, the bok choy is, uh, you know, almost similar to a cabbage. So it takes a little more time to cook. So I'm sure it's getting along well. We're going to peek at the fish while we're in here too because, you know, we're probably about halfway there. But the shiitake yes. mushrooms are going in now. Mm, oh man. Does that smell good already? Mm -hmm. I'm telling our viewers how good it smells in here, Chef Kevin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that gives me inspiration to keep going. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Can't wait to taste it. So, chef, for how many years have how you been chef? Um, about 32. I took it on when I was wow. very young. Mm -hmm. um, started wow. out as a dishwasher like most of us guys that know what we're doing do. Wow. And uh, worked my way up from there. That's nice. So you know, life's, life's experience brings you on further. So, in which restaurants were you working? Well, I had started in a little French restaurant in uh, Larchmont, New York. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, yeah. Went to school and went to work with a friend of mine in the Florida Keys. So that's wow. you know 11 years of my life there and wow. 10 years of my life there. So I didn't really go too much further than with those people and got me where I am today. I've had a couple restaurants along the way. Nice. Very successful. One's uh, one I just uh, sold recently uh, along 19 here. The 19 corridor, uh, just over County Line Road, uh, Chef's Cafe, uh, gave me a blessing to uh, get one of my recipes on uh, Regis and Kelly in 2009. Oh, congratulations! So you know, uh, when you mark milestones and where you're at, you, do, you do okay that That's way. That's wonderful! Congratulations! Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Um, last couple things we're gonna do before we get ready here is um, we need something a little bit sweet for the end of this whole thing. Yay. So what we're gonna do. is we're gonna make some baked wonton cinnamon oh. pineapples. Mm -hmm. What I have is I have a little bit of cinnamon sugar. We're gonna take pineapples that I've cubed up here and we're gonna stick it right in the center of a wonton wrapper, just like that. And the secret oh, to this whole that. thing is making a simple sugar and season it with cinnamon. So it's a strong cinnamon. Ah, but the pineapple cinnamon. offsets that mm -hmm. and the wonton wrapper makes such a nice bake on the outside. It's just like a little treat. I've made a few others of these, so we're just going to get through these six that we have here, oh my and then we'll get them in the oven. That's They'll be amazing. ready to go when the snapper comes that out. That looks right. Oh yes, that looks so. Where did easy. you get the dough? It's it's a uh, uh, wonton wrapper. Oh. You buy them in the grocery store oh, next okay. to the vegetables. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, okay. In order to uh, wrap the wonton correctly or to stick together, you got to use a little egg wash around the edge. And I go a little generous with this just because we're going to try to get these sealed up really good. That I've never seen anything like this. This is amazing to me right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to take this, we're going to roll it up. Just like that, we're going to get that solid, get that onto a baking sheet, get that on the oven. Otherwise, it Vaughn's going like to be mad at me if I don't come in on time. It is. Yeah, you see the dessert? Yeah. And we are nearly at that half mark here and at 15, so we'll be having our infamous Master Chef visitor come in here for a moment to harass you, Chef Kevin. That's fine. He can come in and harass me all he wants. That's right. right. In a nice way. In a professional way, I should say. Okay. Oh, all right. What's yes, going on, Chef? How are you, sir? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sweating it, man. Really? Yeah, I am. I'm coming close, aren't I? I did ask if you wanted more time, but you say no. Oh, shoot. How Can I have you? more time? No, no. <laughs> How are you doing, Elena? Ah, uh, doing great. <laughs> yes, having fun, watching and learning. Very yes. good. Yes. You're doing a good job, is something? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. So, can I take a peek on this fish? Sure, I think it's time to peek at it. What? Let's do it. Nice. Let's look. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. My goodness. You know, wow. you know what I got to do? Crazy. Hold on a second because I got to move some of the stuff off the top. We'll see where we're at. I may have to fit, flip the fish. Really? Let's see. I, 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 I give you a break, you know, so you can speed that. I'm not going to take any more of your time. Uh, let's take a break. Love it. We're going to take a little break here right now, and, and we want to definitely give a big thank you to Chef Kevin Powell tonight because he donated all of the delicious food, seasonings, and everything for tonight's um, cooking show here. And VPN Foundation really appreciates all that he has donated for this special foundation and special show, so thank you to him. And we are going to hear some really great music now, okay? Chef Kevin and I want to give you a hello to Dash and to Chef Kevin from Joe. Oh, he says, hey hello. Joe, how you doing, buddy? Good you. to see you out there, man. <laughs> yeah, so I did it, Joe. Okay. <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> Joe. Joe. Okay. Okay, we are back for your last half here, so let's let's okay. hear where you're at. Okay, the fish is almost done. I just checked it. I flipped it. Um, we're probably about two-thirds of the way cooked at this point. Um, I think what we want to do is we just want to start looking at how we're going to close this out. Um, I've got sesame oil, nothing but sesame oil. I'm going to add that to the pan. And sesame oil. And I'm going to use this on top of the fish after it comes out and goes to the platter. This is going to give us hopefully a nice sizzle effect on top of the fish and make it look real nice. What I have is I have 
nice julienne scallions, you know, sliver cut, pretty stuff. So when that sesame oil hits that, that's going to cook that on top of the fish and give it just, oh, it's going to be so good. Cilantro chopped up and uh, julienne ginger. The julienne ginger, I'm actually going to put in the sesame oil before I toss it over so it has a chance to cook a little bit more. These two items are delicate and this one needs a little more cooking time. So we're going to heat that in the sesame oil, dump that over the fish on the platter, and then we're going to have a great, enjoyable meal. Oh, it sounds great. I'm going to check I the fish the right now because I think we're getting close. Yes, we are. You're a little over 10 minutes right now left. Best way to check the fish when it's steaming is use a butter knife. Just come right up in the thicket of that bone right there and see where you're at with the, with the doneness of that fish. That looks incredible. Oh my God. I think, yeah, you've I cooked think we're this many there. times That's before, amazing. by the way. You have cooked this before? I have done this before for okay. house parties. Wow. Okay, so we're almost there, guys. we got about five more minutes on that. Okay. And we should be right on the money. You're right there. Now, you're let's go ahead and check our dessert and see what our dessert is. Mm. Oh my gosh, how simple is that dessert, too? Amazing. I want to do this. Yeah, me too. This is what I want to do. Okay. You want to do it? I, I do. want to eat it. Yeah, I want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. Five minutes. That's fair. <laughs> Five minutes. So that'll all come out right at the same time. I'm going to move Perfect. our serving platter over here and get us ready. Perfect. I can take that fish out of there and put it in there. We'll start getting the sesame oil hot for us. And we want that, you know, good and hot. It starts smoking, turn the burner off. And the other thing, too, is be careful not to get too much liquid in that because it will start on fire on you. Oh, okay. Good point. Good point. Well, everyone good. tuning in tonight says it just looks wonderful. And Great. they're excited to see it. So everyone's on board here. I'm excited to see it, too. <laughs> yeah. Including our sound man, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's smelling this real good, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> smells great. So you're like a little over eight minutes. Look at everything you've done already. That was so fast. Oh. Yeah, but I gotta check the dessert. Oh, okay, go do it. <laughs> we'll keep you on task here. Almost, almost, yeah, almost. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, this, uh, you know, I, I just go back to the, uh, the concept of this style of cooking. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, the aromatics coming out of the pan mm -hmm. is, is really nice. Um, you know, and to see it to see it that way and, and you know actually when we take meat off the bone uh, we lose some of that nutrients as well so this is a way of getting it all in one thing so if you were feeling a little bit down which is how i've been for the last four days with this cold hanging yeah. around yeah this is something like a chicken noodle soup that yes. mom makes that's going to make you feel a lot yes. better with it's, all the it, nutrients in it this is energy right here this is that's this is wonderful good food. and health it Just looks good, good. It looks so good. I can see some uh, uh, waves getting on in the sesame oil, so it's starting to get hot. Okay. Um, I'm just going to throw a ginger in there so I can kind of see what's happening. And we got a little action there, so we're getting pretty close to being done here. Okay. And the fish is looking really, really good, I'm telling you. Mm. Now, oh, if boy. someone should do this at home, what will they use to steam that fish if they don't obviously have... They can use a wok with a wire okay. rack in it. There's okay. there's assemblies they have, a bamboo steamer. Uh, okay. You don't have to do the whole fish. You Got can it. do a fillet. Got it. You can okay. you can make dinner for four in one of those bamboo steamers and just Perfect. have the right portion fillet in there. Perfect. I just Perfect. like to do it this way because it's kind of you know it's nice to see the right. whole fish Absolutely. on the plate and, and and look at it that way. Okay, I got enough activity going on here in my sesame oil. I add, yep, sorry, Bob. <laughs> Add a little bit of that, that. that ginger in there. That's plenty. And I'm going to turn that burner off because I don't need that anymore. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Right there. And we can slide that off that burner. Oh, and peek at really the fish. I gotta oh, oh boy, that fish is looking good. Oh, gosh. I can and let's check the oven. Right now. <laughs> that smells good. Okay. That sounds good. I didn't have fish in a long time, actually. I'm you very excited. It? Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love fish. I can eat it all the time. That's one of my favorites is fish. I really do like it. So you're just at six minutes, so you're still good to go. I'll be right on time. <laughs> wow, look at this. Perfect. And how long did those actually cook? Well, they should have gone like maybe a minute less. 
But I was talking. Oh, but that's okay. But I think they'll be fine. We're not gonna they tell fine? anybody. No, they look we'll absolutely fine. We'll, we'll, we'll find out when we test them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This one, these might blow my store. <laughs> and what do you call those? These are these are cinnamon sugar pineapple wontons. Okay. All right. I'm uh, anxious to try that one. So how long do you have to keep it uh, in the oven? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. And then what temperature? Uh, about 375. I think we're good to go there. I'm just gonna hit these with a little bit of that cinnamon simple sugar on top. Oh my gosh. What a neat thing to make for like a crowd or just simple, you know, dinner party or gathering or mm -hmm. Super Bowl coming up. <laughs> I don't normally do dessert before an entree, but now there's our dessert fabulous. for mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we need to check our fish because we're, uh, we're looking very good. Where's Vaughn? Um, uh, get that on a plate and Vaughn's coming in. Trust right, me, he'll great. be in ready to <laughs> taste my big that. Mouth. Oh, I, I smell the cinnamon, the cinnamon sugar. I can smell that right now. It's so good. Look at that. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Wow. That presentation is beautiful. Smells so good. Not seen this before, mm -hmm. huh? This is fabulous. It's wow. Doesn't it look healthy? Mm-hmm. And like he was saying, everyone there's so much of that cold and flu and all that other, you know, yeah, not great stuff right going now. on right now. <laughs> what a wonderful meal for that. Build up that immune system, right? Let me do that. I need a bigger, bigger knife. Right here. That looks fabulous. You have done such a great job. Oh yeah, she's ready. Oh, that looks fabulous. She's ready. Okay, the final touch. Mm -hmm. We're gonna give it a little bit of the cilantro on top. Definitely. Okay, some scallions on there. Oh, there's those scallions you were talking about. Mm. Okay, and then the ginger and sesame oil right down the top of all wow. that. Oh my amazing. gosh, that's amazing. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. That's beautiful. I'm impressed, Chef. Okay, I have some sticky rice to go along with it. Okay. And we'll get you all plated up and ready to go. Okay, well you got your three minutes to do that, okay? That's perfect. You are, you are right on it. It's perfect. I enjoy doing it. I love cooking food. It looks like you do. I love cooking food. I got three minutes left, so let's see if you I do. can dress it down. You do. Let's see if I can't dress it down. That's incredible, isn't it? Wow. I like let everyone know um, that's visiting us right now. They really are amazed at what you're doing, as well as our crew in the background. They're all mm -hmm. holding it back right now. <laughs> <laughs> that looks fabulous. Oh my God. And don't forget everyone, this is Florida fish caught locally. Mm -hmm. So, wow. That's like a great meal. What do you think? I'm just watching and learning. This is like <laughs> Makes you want to go try looks it, right? amazing. Oh, yes. Yeah, you can do this at home. This is like super. You can actually yeah. do this. And here's some plates too Speaking for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Super. Ah. Do this over here. Just put this right behind you. Give them a little bit more room. This is like. Yeah, one plate will be great. Mm -hmm. This is for our taste testing coming up here. So I've asked for questions. Now I can ask the viewers if they want to go ahead and rate this from one to five, please do. Go ahead and comment and I'll see them anywhere from one to five, obviously oh, five being the top. So go ahead and send in some ratings if you want to. That looks incredible. So it does look like you're very comfortable with fish, I'll tell you, and filleting. 
It really does. Sushi. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Yeah, I, I am awesome. not a fillet person. I can't do that. Oh, Joe. Well, thank you, Joe. Steam it for another couple minutes here. We can do that. Eat, uh, we can do that. A little rush, I think. We can do that. Get that fired back up again. Sure. So, for how long do we have to steam it in total? About 20 minutes. Okay. So that minutes. should have been there. Okay. The uh, the apparatus we have do you here want me to? Not as what we can see, but. Do you want me to? Are we ready? Or you want to wait? That's great. Yeah, I think so. I want to do that too. Thank you so much. Yep, we're just going to go yes. ahead and give that. Let's steam it for a little yes. while. <laughs> All right. All right, let's bring, let's bring them in. Have them right, come on in. What do we have here? <laughs> what do we have? Let's get this so dessert going. Chef? Yep. This is your uh, cinnamon sugar mm -hmm. pineapple wonton bake. All right. The topping is a uh, simple sugar with uh, cinnamon. All right, let's check it out. Yes, please. You mm. ready? Of course. So I'm the do first one. Let's just grab one. Oh, you can ah. grab one, whichever okay. way you want to do it. Okay. So I see yeah. you got some problem, Chef. Yeah, the yeah, fish is a little bigger. It took a little longer. So I think we're back in there for now to uh, finish it out. This is good. Is it good? Mm, I love ah, that. You know I do. Mm. Thank you so much. I'm going to use my finger. Do you want one? Mm. Yes. There you go. Put, put, put the keyboard in autopilot. <laughs> autopilot. <laughs> autopilot. Autopilot, right? Mm. Let me grab That's this. That's so good. Yeah, yeah it's good. It's very good. So. Mm. It sounds like. How do we do this recipe? And healthy. This recipe is pretty simple. It's a healthy dessert. I have See, that's what I like about it, right? I dust it in cinnamon and sugar mix. Mm -hmm. Wrap it in a wonton mm -hmm. wrapper. You can put wonton wrapper right in uh, yeah, the pineapple. grocery store in the produce section. It's really nice. Mm. Gamo, Gamo, come taste this one. This is really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Like I said, the Super Bowl is coming up. What a great mm. little something to let make, know, right? Let me know what you think. Let, let's, let's, let's come to the photographer and the audience. <laughs> Sounds good. So wrong. Uh, <laughs> audio check. Uh, there's going to audio check. <laughs> All right. Vaughn. Hi, Eric. Vaughn Kyle asked um, where the egg was. <laughs> the viewers. Just so there. you know. There's an egg in there. <laughs> Kyle, you pay attention, man. Yo, yeah, Kyle was paying I attention. I forgot about that. Vaughn, you want to set it up? Mm. Oh, ah, it's good. really Valeria. good. Come here, come here. Mm -hmm. Well it done, tastes Jeff. absolutely delicious. It's a good dessert. <laughs> I'd go with a cup of tea or coffee, wouldn't it? Taste this up and let me know what you think. Okay. Another one? Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Good? Oh, it's really Easy. good. Don't eat, too Don't eat too much. Don't eat too much. I want some. <laughs> Just only one. <laughs> only one piece. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, it's good. But it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kyle said you you would do it to me. <laughs> um, you are right. <laughs> oh, you are right. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's funny. He is paying big time attention. <laughs> oh, that's super. So, Elena, does it make you want to go home and try to do this? Of course. Yes, yeah. I will so, definitely do that. Yeah. 
How, how do we rate the dish, the, the this one? From uh, one to five? Yeah, mm -hmm. I would Thanks. give it a ten. Ten? Yes, <laughs> two fives. I, I can agree with that. <laughs> what about presentation? It's um, presentation is very special and has an extra touch of the chaff, Kevin. So uh, it's yeah, beautiful. I, I, I like the wonton, uh, mm -hmm. you know, no, no, no pasta or whatever you call that. Oh, pastry, yeah. Yeah, you can do it with wonton. You can do it with puff pastry. It would come out a little different. You could do it with uh, filo dough. Right, right, right. right oh, so it's the same yes. Principle. Right. Yes. With the feel of that, I, I feel like you need to layer it out. Yeah, it's a lot more. Yeah, a lot more. Sure, absolutely. Delicate of a dough. So originality, Elena, what do you think on originality? Um, um, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> How original do you think that is? Have you ever seen, you know, anything like that before? No, never. Never. I'm, this is the first time I'm trying this and I really like I it. Like. I mean, it's easy to make, mm -hmm. fast and uh, it's mm -hmm. sweet and I think it's also very healthy. Like, mm -hmm. pineapple, pineapple is good Absolutely. for you, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would uh, definitely recommend that to everybody. It's a so nice what dessert, what, yes. What Elena rated the dish for? So you basically rated it 10, so 5. Ten, yes. Ten, five, 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 <laughs> five, <laughs> five, five, the top. I really like it. Paula, should I say one? Yeah. Paula needs to come and taste this. Okay. The oven's mm -hmm. still on. It's definitely something I would not like to share with anybody. I, I, want I love for it. myself. Okay. <laughs> like I'm gonna get you one. I want it all for myself. I want it all for myself. We've got the, I'm still eating mine. <laughs> that was very, very good. Very, very good. Mm. Well, that could be considered an appetizer and not a dessert. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. So you got five stars on that Beautiful. dessert, which is absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. Oh, it's delicious. Now, I know you said you did some sticky rice. Now, is that jasmine rice or what kind of Just rice? white sticky rice. White sticky rice, okay. So you basically can use any kind of it's rice. It's called like, just like that, yeah? White sticky rice? White sticky rice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Steamed. Okay. You know? The idea is to do it all in one, uh, you know, one bamboo steamer or, right. or something like that. Right. So, Jeff, what is your uh, favorite fish? My favorite fish? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yellowtail snapper. Snapper. I don't know if I have a Do you like hogfish? Hogfish? I do like hogfish. I like hogfish. Real white, so yeah. white, flaky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, right in the Gulf of Mexico, mm -hmm. north of the Yucatan Peninsula, most of them fish for it right mm -hmm. in that area. Some of our Florida Keys fishermen are also have access to that fish because we share the same waters. Okay. So yeah, but okay, yeah, so hogfish is similar to yellowtail snapper. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay. Yes, oh, yeah, we have hogfish. I never no, had. No, it's a It's amazing. Never had that. That so was good. One I have not had. Maestro, um, <laughs> give us uh, another song. What do you think? You've been working with with. With, with a lot of stuff. Oh, yes, he you has. You just came from rehearsal. <laughs> so, 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 in other words, the pressure's on. Yeah, it's going to say so the pressure's on. Give me a solo. <laughs> mm, look at the fish now. You better impress now because Nicole and Tanner were viewing here, so impress them. <laughs> right, you guys? If you're still watching, <laughs> Nicole and Tanner. Good, good. good. Show them what you learned today. <laughs> yep. One that's about two minutes out. All right, you got that's it. Good. One that's about two minutes out. Good. Oh, you got it. Perfect. Nice. Perfect.
That was nice, wasn't it? Yay! Mm. Thank you. So now you need to bring a plate to Tanner on your way home. He put in his order. So you need to deliver. Do I look like a Hey, I'm just passing on the information here. I said I'd kindly ask you. Oh, how's it going over there, Chef? Uh, we're right there. Good I job. I got to have you guys sample some. Good oh. job. I'm excited, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fabulous. Mm. Oh, now that looks good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I like, I like the fact that it was stuffed with all yes, the, yes, you know, yes, herbs yes. and the seasonings and everything. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Part. I never heard that before. No, I never have either. No, I never imagine, had this, yeah. you know, but like, like he was saying, in, in different origins, that's exactly yeah, what they that's do. So cool. And I understand that. Right. It's like stuffed turkey. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah. But it makes it's sense like when it's inside, fish. you know, it permeates, right? It, it all. Right, it goes through the, through the meat. Exactly. Which is that's a good idea. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, great idea. Great idea. So this recipe is yours? You came up with that? or? Well, there's, there's, there's variations of it all over the world. I added the certain things to it, like the Szechuan seasoning uh -huh. and stuff like that. Oh, okay. I saw really this Szechuan seasoning. I never heard of it. Uh, where do you buy it usually? Where do you get it? Uh, gourmet food stores. Oh, okay. So you cannot gourmet. buy it in Publix? I think if you go to the ethnic aisle, I think they might have it. I believe. Uh, yeah. yeah, I believe they may have it. So they must it. have it, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. I believe so, yes. Because I've used it. So, so is, it, is it something for fish only? Um, no, you can use it on all kinds of stuff, actually. Okay. Yeah. okay. I use it on veggies. Oh, you do? You and use it? And yeah. veggies, and that's oh, what I wow. use it for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That looks delicious. So you're also a good cook. I, I cook with a lot of Italian cooks. Oh, so, huh. um, yeah, they... They love to cook. <laughs> so, Italians, yeah. yeah. Oh yes, <laughs> from scratch too. So yeah, absolutely great. I grew up with a lot of good food. A lot of good homemade food. It was amazing. Are we ready to pop him in to taste? Sure. All right, sure. let's do it. So who is the yeah, taster? I'll get that other one out. <laughs> He's gonna do the tasting. And you're gonna help him. So oh, yes. All right, chef. So, be honest with me, what happened today? Not enough time for the fish to cook. <laughs> mm. I actually probably pulled it a little too early. So, I can taste uh -huh. now? Head up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yay! Mm. So... Okay, so what do I try first? Everywhere. Everything. Everything. I eat sticky rice on a constant basis. Did you steam it? Oh, did, did, did you see me? It's kind of not how you eat rice there, Ron, but that's not okay. Tea. <laughs> I like it. Right? No, no, this makes I, it sticky. I, 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 I eat it sticky rice, rice all the time, and this is how you eat it. You eat it with your hands. Right. Laosian La La style to clarify. Mm. The sticky rice is good. Do you put salt? Do you put salt? Nothing. Wow, it's amazing. I wow. Like it. mm -hmm. It's really, really good. What are we thinking there? We need a comment there. Mm, yum, yummy, yummy. Is it good? good? Yeah, oh, nice. 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 Nice flavor. Is really good? Yes. I want to have more later. <laughs> <laughs> so, Elena, you got to help me out here. Stay, in, stay here. Stay next Stay to up me. by him. Stand up by him. I can't stop eating. <laughs> yeah. It so, was worth it then. What do you think? Your originality? Mm. Valerie, come, come help us. Come on, help! <laughs> yes, come on! Yes! Yes, I was waiting for the I was gonna say, here's another four. Yes, so. she was waiting for this morning. <laughs> She's waiting. Good job. So, you didn't know you got to have some fun over here, too, and he. It's all part of it. Mm, yummy, yummy. Look good. So, one to five, how many, how many stars did you say? What about the presentation? Did you like the presentation? Yeah, it's pretty. pretty. It was a little destroyed, right? It's just there. I 
I'm, yeah, I'll take a point on that, Vaughn. I'll take a point on that. So if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> no let's, do, let's do quarter of presentation. Taste is good, this five, and originality. Originality, I would say. Oh. <laughs> I would say five. I mean, okay. you have a combination of Western cook. I, okay. I, I know this dish with my Chinese people. Okay. And we cook it a little different than this. Okay. Uh, which I like the, the original style. Uh, your Western combination, I, I, I can see in the form, in the way you cook the rice and the combination with the style. mushroom. It's, 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 it's good. Uh, <laughs> but when you compare the other, the other two, I, I think the years of experience generation after generation cooking the same ingredient at the same time you, you can beat that even you got you 35 years on this dish right. but those people got more than three oh wow well, you totally so, agree on that yeah sure. so, so you're taking on a, a very big challenge yes though. but yes it's, it's totally fine i would like a, a you know an american or, 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 or anybody in the country to taste this right. dish before they they go into a more flavorful explosion of Chinese, you know, right. culture. Right. So five on taste, five on presentation, and four on what was it? Four? Originality. What did I put the four? Originality. Oh, no, originality. All right. Yeah. So we got what? Like pretty much four or five. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I would suggest a price of a nineteen ninety nine Paula or twenty four. 95, something like that. Because there's that local fish. for that dish. Sure. And for the dessert, let's pay $7.99 as well. Share that dessert with delicious. your date. $6.99, there you go. All right, share. So well you done. have to come back and within yourself. I would, I would love with, to. With a bigger <laughs> one. So close the show. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hopefully you found it uh, interesting to watch and uh, yes. learn something by tuning in. And uh, don't forget the good cause that these good people are doing this for. Uh, one of the reasons why I do it. And, uh, you know, keep cooking and uh, maestro oh, music. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Well done.